that uh, the Star Citizen leaks uh, um, some of the uh, the the patch notes that initially came out with Star Citizen leaks. So that's what we're gonna look at first and foremost, and then uh, uh, let's let's get right into it. So we're gonna go through this real quick, and then um, after that, there's a few more tin bits that I did find. So we'll we'll get to that at the end as well. All right. So 317 just hit, um, I think a day ago. And um, thus far, this is what they have on the initial release. All right. I'm just going to try to find what's really in interesting. Okay. Current build is under the NDA. Of course, we know that. Um, all right. All right. All right. That's does not contain all the intended features which will add uh irrevably um to the notes as it becomes available additionally some features may be implemented in partial state as such uh not ready for testing uh when those features are playable in a playable state we will detail them out in the notes all right so um that's normal we all we all know about that um eac updates what is this um updated the latest um easy anti-cheat okay better linux support okay updated support reshade to the latest version to 5.0.2 no idea what that does um but for those that are interested that'll be good for you guys to know about just let me know in the in the description below in the comments below what you feel that's about um test and focus okay so the star fair and refueling are in an incomplete state in this build and are not testable so please avoid using these if possible okay ship potential desync test in p17 we have put in a network update that uh, should we do ship to ship desync uh, we would like to know how well this update works and if there are any observable knock-ons relative to 316 uh, you should feel as though you're facing the direction and position of other player ships are more accurate and feel real time um which is really good i think that's that's gonna help the game overall not just related to 317 but but i'm sure they need to have this dialed in before the um what do you call it um before the um we feel mechanic comes in because the short the ships need to be in sync or else it could cause problems especially if there is uh they're going to be interacting with each other you know what i mean um we have created a feedback thread in spectrum okay blah blah blah, blah. um that could help ship ship jitters rubber banding jitters jittering and other effects uh, of that nature okay so this is really good i look forward to seeing this hopefully this improves things in the realm of desync um, Lorville Hospital and Space Station Clinic variations, okay? Um, okay, so the Station Clinic variations, okay? Can't wait to see that. Um, Lorville Hospital, I can't wait to see that. It looked good. I looked at I seen it in Inside Star Citizen. So, which we'll get to um, shortly after this. So, we'll, we'll see a little bit more about that. All right. Um, so, they added rivers on Microtech. Um, the coffee shop vendor. Mining gadgets. Uh, player injury updates and uh, DNA head texture updates. All right. So that is essentially known issues. We're not going to read through that. All right. New features, locations, Lorville, Pure Life, um, Pure of Heart, Hospital, Interior Location. Okay. So that's that's something that we know about. Space Station clinic variations. We just see that um so this this is essentially they're they're re they're going to be re redesigning the space station so that they look different in terms of the hospitals the, the clinics that they have on the inside so um that's that's what that's going to be about okay um ai coffee shop vendor so adding a fully interactable coffee shop vendor in area 18 the uh, ai will interact with three new usables hot drink dispenser uh soft drink drink dispenser and a drink fridge to serve players with a priority of drinks so i think this this once again this this is going to go aligned with um squad 42 as well as the future mechanics of um taxi um 
the, the, the future tax emissions. I don't know if it's going to be this coming patch or the patch after to be able to move NPCs from one location to another. So um, I look forward to it. All right, so mining gadgets. So mining gadgets are tools that help modify the rocks uh, properties and assist in the player mining with mining a deposit. There are many different gadgets that include the stats that will positively or negatively modify rocks resistance, optimal charge rate, uh, overcharge rate, instability, optimal charge window, optimal charge rate, uh, the shatter damage. The player can attach a device physic uh, physically to the mine of world deposit in FPS and modify its stats, uh, making mining either easier or safer or quicker or risk and riskier. Uh, players can cur uh, can currently buy these in New Babbage, Lorville, Port Alasar, okay, and attach them to their backpacks as an equipped item, okay. That can be held in the hands and press F4, press 4 as a default keybind to restore by holding the R as usual, okay? And once a player finds a mineable rock, asteroid, they can, they want to mine, they can attach the gadgets only uh, onto it by walking or EVAing up to it, holding it in their hands and holding left click to place it on the rock. This will um, allow players to then modify the signal waves to align them to the mining gadget screen and activate it once back once back in their ship, the player can scan the rock and will notice an improved uh, based on an improvement based on the gadget used. The gadgets are retrievable after uh, successfully mining, but will take damage and can and can be destroyed if going above safe mining levels or overcharging a rock. All right, so this is one of the things that I'm excited about. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, especially for those that do solo mining with the prospectors, you get to uh, make a difference. Um, you get you get to engage some of the more difficult rocks uh, that may need a second person. So you can, um, especially if you if you're running a prospector, if you're if you're running into rocks that are above like five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand in mass, um, you, you, it's it's you essentially can't really break the rock. You know, I think it's when it's over fifty five hundred. You can't break it or a prospector. So if you have a mining gadget that can help you with that, it's uh, fantastic. So I look forward to this definitely once uh, I get my hands on it. All right. Feature updates. So characters, DNA head textures. Um, art updates with DNA archetype heads that greatly improve the quality of all DNA heads, both for players and common P NPCs. This update brings... Um, additional archetype heads while also updating base textures wrinkle maps and irises for the original heads i gotta admit star citizen does have fantastic heads um in terms of the custom the character customization it's very impressive thus far so the fact that they're improving it i look forward to seeing how that's gonna look you know i think it's gonna look cool man all right so locations Separated low orbit stations and landing zones to each have their own inventories. Separated low orbit stations and landing zones to each have their own inventories. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this what I think it means? Oh, this is going to be bad, bro. So they're saying they're going to separate. Let's say, for example, Port Alisar, right? If you're on Port Alisar, you have access to your inventory out on Orison while you're on Pro Alisar. So now they're going to separate the inventories from Pro Alisar separate from Orison. So you literally have to fly down to Orison to get your stuff, which I don't like. <laughs> Same thing with uh, Microtech, man. It's it's so much more convenient if you can access it through the space station instead of actually um, flying through the atmosphere to get to the location. Oh, man, I hope that's not a thing. Damn it okay um gameplay so ground vehicle signature emission changes adjusting ground vehicle signature emissions so that they could they are more difficult to detect at higher ranges that is good that is good. this is going to be very helpful especially during uh the jump town events you kind of want to be able to you want to be able to sneak in through ground vehicle sometimes when there are so many ships on in the air it's very difficult to 
um, approach, you know? Solution don't use Orison as your home. Exactly. I'm definitely not going to be using that. All right. Um, player injury polish bash. So we have overhauled the injury system to, in, to increase the likelihood of injury injuries occurring during a repeat combat encounter and decrease the chance of instant death there is now a scaling percentage chance of triggering early injuries uh when taking damage to a body part that is really good um this is uh this is assessed each time the body part receives additional wear and has a short cooldown between triggers to prevent uh it from occurring too frequently so this is fantastic, man. So they're going to essentially reduce uh, the insta kills um, instead of um, that way you can sustain more injuries and have a chance of surviving uh, scenarios, you know, which is really cool. Which is really cool. All right. I look forward to that. Um, FPS weapons refactor. So ongoing update to make procedural anime procedural animation animations more natural for holding fps weapons adjusting weapon sway and recoil values across a wide range of rifles smgs shotguns and sniper rifles okay i'm curious to see how this is gonna this is gonna feel like okay that's fine add a keybind option to request atc this is big <laughs> this this is big this right here, that's the best feature. <laughs> this right here is the best feature of the patch. <laughs> All right. All right. So this, that seems to be what they have for the patch notes itself. But I did come across some, uh, a few little timbits, right? So let me just give you guys, let you guys know right off the bat that this is Star Citizen Leaks and, um, all this is just take this with a grain of salt you know what i mean this is just things that they found uh that was leaked from the game files and um so what i'm gonna go through we may get it we may not get it through the patch we don't know right so but this is what was found in the game files just to let y'all know all right so the first one is um we're gonna get a new shop shopping ui all right so this is a given so this this we can expect that because we're gonna be we're gonna be able to sell um the gear that we find at uh when we explore you're gonna be able to sell it back to stores and make money after that so i expect uh shopping ui one interesting thing is the rsi scorpius is gonna have a emp device so right now so in the xml's that they found in the game files for 317 they somehow found an xml file that indicates an emp device for the rsi scorpius bro if the rsi scorpius has an emp is it is it gonna be like unless there's gonna be a variant of it unless there's gonna be a there's gonna be a second variant of the rsi scorpius that is gonna be more um e, that's gonna be more so dedicated to e-warfare I think that's what it is, man. Cause I, similar to the Vanguard, right? I think, I think, I think that's that's what they're gonna do. It's gonna be, it's gonna be variants of the RSI Scorpius. This is what I'm getting from it. Cause when they did the concept, they didn't mention anything about EMP of the RSI Scorpius. So if they're gonna be adding an EMP to the to the ship, it's probably gonna be a variant of the RSI Scorpius. Okay, so that is one thing. Um, the second thing is um, there's going to be two Scorpius, RSI Scorpius turret modes, right? So this is what the modes are called. This is what they're finding in the files, right? So HUD turret slave mode equals point defense. So there's going to be a point defense mode. So when I hear point defense, is it going to be automated? If it's automated, that's going to be cool. I would love it to be automated. And then the second mode is HUD turret dominant mode, which is equal to heavy cannons. So the turret can alternate between point defense and heavy cannons. So I'm assuming 
the heavy cam cannons is what faces front when it's in front when it's facing front it'll be heavy cannon and then maybe when it's in the back it's seen as point defense to defend yourself from the back i don't know i don't know but this is what you're finding in the files uh take it with a grain of salt all right so the next thing um so in terms of the ratio of selling items right so somebody did a screenshot of hemazol which is the med pen right you can purchase it in store for 100 auec but you can sell it back to the store for 45 auec right so it's essentially a 55 percent reduction to the value when you so if you think about it if you're you know you could let's say if it's a 2000 auec uh weapon that you found that's really worth 2000 auec you could probably sell it back to the store for about a thousand nine hundred nine hundred to a thousand which isn't too bad you know with the fact that we can loot so much guns <laughs> but that's gonna be cool so it seems like the ratio of uh the conversion ratio is gonna be pretty cool when you uh when you sell things back to the store okay so now um they did find files that indicates taxi companies so one of the taxi companies is called ambassador flights all right a second one is called guild star taxi and a third is called silver leaf society okay silver leaf society so which is cool i don't i'm not sure if we're going to be doing um taxiing in 317 is that is that is that confirmed if it is that'll be really cool that'll be another thing to do right individuals items will have wear and tear so it seems like they they have files they have uh files they have um xmls in the game files that indicate that items that you pick up items that you own like um weapons multi-tools and things of that nature will will we'll start to have wear and tear I'm not sure it's going to be a 317 but they're finding this in the files okay and also the xion missile launcher so it seems like there's going to be a xion um uh, missile launchers for the xion ship so if there's going to be a missile launcher for it for xion that means that that xion heavy fighter is probably on its way The Xi'an Heavy Fighter is probably on its way out. Okay, that will be really cool. Oh, if not, then it's going to be the railing. These missile launchers are going to be, I think, for the railing. Because I think the railing has missile launchers on it. Alright. So, up next is atmospheric pressure damage uh, warnings. So, it seems like you'll be getting pressure warnings when you're out as a player character so i think maybe your hud will let you know the pressure that you're you know when the pressure is too much or if it's bad or anything. i think i'm hoping what this means is if you don't have your helmet on and you're about to approach a place where there is no pressure there is no atmosphere it will tell you so that you don't suffocate i hope that that's what that means all right and then last but not least, it says new MIC Lagrange points found. So it looks like they're going to be added a Lagrange point for uh, Microtech. So that is, there is already a Mic L1, but it's going to be Mic L2, Mic L3, Mic L4, and Mic L5. They're going to be added. Don't know if it's coming in 317, but this is what they're finding in the game files in 317. All right so uh i think that's cool man um this is what i kind of want to go through with you guys in regards to the star citizen leaks um subscribe to this channel if you want to see more star citizen content leave a like on this as well all right i will see you on the next one